All right. <clears throat> it feels like a resort. There's no other way to describe it. Seeing the other students having all this fun, I, I. <laughs> yep, yep, I'm very happy. Everyone seems to be getting along with each other, so I'm very happy. I thought this would be hard until everyone got used to this, but they're all acting like ultimates. Ding, ding, ding. Let's keep up the pace and do all our best to peacefully enjoy this heart-throbbing school trip. Look at this guy. What's this feeling of... Alienation. I can't really put it into words. Am I really wrong about all this? Fine. I just gotta do it, right? Then I'll do it. That's right, I'll do it. Huh? Raymond, did something happen? Hey, hand me one of those swimsuits. Jeez, I can't believe I was the only one worrying. I feel like an idiot. I don't care anymore, I'm gonna go for it! I'm gonna seriously enjoy myself and have some fun. Oh shit. Hey, you guys! Don't forget about me! <laughs> hey, hey, wait for me! Let me join in the fun! Let me join in on the fun! Wait, huh? Uh... Suddenly... The sky grew cloudy. Huh? What is this? Damn, just when I was about to have some fun, huh? What's happening? These strange clouds, this doesn't look natural at all. Hmm? Huh? Hey, what the fuck is going on? What did you do? This is obviously not right. It was sunny just a few minutes ago. What? What is this? Oh, she looks like... She looks legitimately spooked. Huh? I didn't do anything. What is all this? Uh, there's no way. Something like this shouldn't be happening. And at that exact moment, just when it seemed like this couldn't get more confusing, it suddenly happened. Uh... Ah! Oh my fucking god! Fuck! <laughs> no! No! I thought we were done with this guy! Uh, 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 can you hear me? Can you hear me? Fuck! Oh, great. That voice was so fucking laid back and gleeful that it seemed out of place. But it was different than Usami's. As if an endless storm of malice could be felt raging behind that laid back voice. The moment I felt it, my body shuddered. <laughs> surprised? You were totally surprised! <sighs> right? Great. Now then! Sorry to keep you all waiting for so long. Let's leave all this worthless entertainment behind. It's time for the main attraction. You guys better hustle over to Jabberwock Park. Could, could it be? This voice. If, if this is... Oh, this is very bad. I gotta do something. I won't let you. It's all up to me. Hey, wait! Very strange. It seems that this unusual occurred. It's best if we go to Jabberwock Park, was it? Let's hurry. Hey! Hey, wait. But, 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 but what about everyone who's swimming? Naturally. There's no time to wait for them to change. Well, I have a bad feeling about this. Metalhead on my <laughs> Shit! Just what the f hell is going on? I'll be really pissed if something. if it's something fucking stupid. <laughs>
What is this? What the hell is going on? Uh, okay, Jabberwock Park, right? Should I talk to... Boo, there's just too many Mr. Krabs. Bye! Fine, I'll just step on them later. You crabs better run while you still can. Oh, great. The crystal clear sea changed color. It looks like it'll swallow me whole if I stare at it for too long. Does it look like that because of the malicious voice we just heard? I forgot what the park was. I missed the start. Why is everybody ugly? I wouldn't say everybody's ugly. As we arrived at Jabberwock Park, Usami's shouting voice could be heard ringing throughout the park. I won't let you. Well, where are you? Where are you hiding? H hiding? Who are you talking to? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, hey, hey! Where are you? Show yourself! <laughs> God. Great. Great! I thought I was going to have to do his voice anymore. <laughs> Long time no see, guys! I am Monokuma! I'm the headmaster of this academy! Rip. <sighs> Monokuma appears! <clears throat> now that I have made my dashing appearance, the first thing I need to say is... Lame! This is so freaking lame! Lame, I say! Lamer than the lamest lame sauce! Oh wait, lame sauce? Is that tasty? Hey, hey! Just as I thought, it was you! But how? Why is Monokuma here? Monokuma? Silence! Ah, shut up! Hey, um... I'm livid, you know! And I'm about ready to barf thanks to your lukewarm attitude! Just what is with this hard throbbing skull trip crap anyway? I'm bored, so hopelessly bored. Hey! This just ain't fun at all. You better knock off this farce right now. What are you thinking? You've got to make this, you know, meet the demands of the world. Nobody wants to see high school students living calm and peaceful lives. What everyone wants to see is <laughs> other people's misery and despair. You. What, what, what the hell is with this stuffed animal? Nothing he's saying makes any damn sense. What? What is going on? What is that thing? I won't let you. Be careful, everyone. Stay back and leave this to me. <laughs> I don't know why Monokuma is here, but as long as I have this magic stick. Yeah! Opening! Oh, rip. Oh, sh- Oh, no. <laughs> this, this is fucked up. Oh, I just saw some panties flying. Damn. Oh. Alright. Okay. Dun, da, da, da! <laughs> what? I'm gonna tell you, Zoff, like, the characters in this are so much better. I mean, in terms of, like, they're just so much better. Like, wh who's, like, the, who's the, who's the, who's the little chef guy? Who's the little chef guy? He's fucking hilarious. No! My magic stick! Now then, what to do after my flawless victory? First of all, you're too plain. White rabbits are far too plain. So, I'm gonna make you in my image. <laughs> Damn, I thought she was gonna be evil. I thought she was gonna, like, do something. But, I don't know, I guess. This is what happens when you defy me. Damn. I'll crunch ya. I'll bite ya. I'll rip you apart. 
Damn, she got like panties, ice cream flying out of her. What's going on here? This wooden stick isn't gonna shove itself in, you know? Excuse me? No! That's a no no! That's a big no no! What the fuck is happening? Oh my god. Not supposed to look weird like this. Change me back to normal. What's this? My my, defying your big brother's fashion sense, is Monomi a little troublemaker? Hey, big brother, Monomi. My little sister. <clears throat> your current position is too wishy-washy, so I'm sending you to be my little sister, Monomi. <laughs> Though it's only an external setting, after all. Why do I have to be your little sister? Well, what? Big sister, then? You want to be the older sister that got separated at birth? I don't like this. I don't, I don't like this. Hmm. That doesn't really feel right. Yep, you're definitely more like a little sister. Call me big brother. So, that's how it's going to be, Manomi. From now on, if you ever disobey me, I will never forgive you. Oh. How? Even the display changed to Monomi. <laughs> I won't forgive you. Hey, I won't let you make up your own settings. Ah! Oh my god, that's so fucked up. Stupid fool. Do you think you can win against me? Oh shit. Ow! It hurts a lot when you punch me. <laughs> Let's get more of the chef guy. How about that? Now you've learned your lesson. Wh what is this? Living stuffed animals fighting each other? This that this is completely insane. <laughs> if only I had the magic stick, I could have totally beaten that awful Monokuma. <laughs> it's all your fault for leaving yourself open. Even one second opening, even a one second opening is a life threatening, is life threatening on the on a battlefield. Hey, hey, hey! What's with the stupid performance? Huh? Uh, who freaking knows? Hmm. But it's obviously something bad is happening. Huh? Uh, what? What is this? What's going on? <laughs> Bud. This is Bud, by the way, everyone. This is Bud Sennett. Now she's all weird looking. Weird looking? She matches me now, you know. How insensitive. What the? There's more of them? What did you say? What, what does this mean? What is that black and white tanuki? Barret! I'm not a tanuki. I'm a bear. I'm Monokuma. What's going on? I don't understand it myself, but a new stuffed... A new stuffed animal appeared? I mean, why is that stuffed animal even talking? Damn it! Seriously, I'm not a stuffed animal! I'm Monokuma, the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy! This is... Monokuma? Huh? Did you say headmaster? Anyway... Regardless, it appears everyone has gathered. Now then, as the headmaster, I shall make a formal declaration. <laughs> From this point onward, the killing school trip will now commence. Killing school trip? <laughs> a school trip where everyone gets along has no stimulation at all. It's so damn boring. Nobody wants to play a game like that. Hey, hey! You guys agree with me, right? Thank you for waiting. So... Let be, let's begin our killing school trip. Do your best. Naturally, you guys are the contestants. You're kidding, right? <laughs> K killing? Contestants? I won't forgive you. W what are you saying? I will absolutely, positively not allow such bloody events. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Savage. Fuck? <laughs> Monami's 
such a dumb child. Jeez, your brain sure is tiny, Monami. How many times do I have to tell you? Pay attention this time, except in manga, a little sister is never smarter than her big brother. <laughs> Allow me to explain! Now then! We got off topic for a while, so let's get back to explanation of the killing school trip! <laughs> what, what, what do you mean, killing school trip? What are you saying? Isn't it obvious? You guys are going to kill each other! Well... Kill each other? I see. Are you kidding me? K kill each other! No way, no way, no way! <laughs> well, what are you saying? That's impossible. No. Well, don't you think it's kind of lame and boring that you can't leave the island unless you all get along? So I'm changing the rules! Yahoo! If you want to leave this island, then please kill one of your friends! <laughs> And then, make it through the class trial without getting caught. <gasps> class trial? That's right! The class trial is the real charm of this killing school trip. Allow me to explain! If one of you gets murdered, the surviving members must participate in a class trial. In the class trial, there will be a showdown between the blackened killer and the other spotless students. During the trial, you'll present your arguments about who you think the Blackened is. The outcome will be decided by popular vote, and if you arrive at the correct answer, only the Blackened killer will be punished. The rest may continue their school trip. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with the murder will survive and the rest of you will receive your punishment. As far as the class trial rules go, that's, there, that's all there is to it. In other words... Which means, if you kill someone and make it through the class trial, you get to live and leave this island! However, if you're found guilty during the class trial, then you will be punished! <laughs> it's, a it's a familiar, but simple rule, right? What the heck? You guys keep repeating the word punish over and over again. What's the deal with that? Hmm. Basically, it's an execution! That is... Execution? Ah, oh, Sonia. Ugh. punishment that follows the class trial. This is one of the perks of the killing school trip. <laughs> what sort of spine-tingling punishments will we see? I can't help it. I'm already getting excited. There may even be some unique punishments, like impaling you through the head with a thigamajig claw! Uh... Hmm... <coughs> Any method of killing is fine. Popular ones like bludgeoning, stabbing, strangling and poisoning, to shooting, beating, running over, burning, bombing, slashing, drowning, electrocution, crushing, cursing... Shing! Please choose whichever killing method you prefer. No time limit so you can kill as you please. It's an all-you-can-murder buffet. A theme park of murder. That's awesomely poptastic! That's what this killing school... That's what this killing school trip is all about. Ugh. I clutched my chest without realizing it. With each beat of my heart, a sharp, stabbing pain coursed throughout my body. I didn't understand. What was happening to me? Damn it. D don't fuck with me. I'm Tomadeus. That's right. Th that's right. Who on earth would kill someone? No way! I'm not ordering anyone to kill. Whether or not you kill someone is entirely up to you. No, no! But be careful. Youth doesn't last forever. It'll be too late if you wait till you're in your 40s to start killing each other. I won't believe. I won't believe. <laughs> I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. <laughs> I don't believe any of this. What's going on? Hey, I'm Bud Senen. What, what if nobody ever gets murdered? Does that mean we'll never leave this island? Who knows? Anyway... 
I'd like for you all to go through this killing school trip in a healthy and positive manner. What's going on? Wait, wait just a minute, I'm Bud. Why do we have to do this? What's this? Well, it's obvious. There's a reason you all need to kill each other. Excuse me? Hold on! Hold on! <laughs> You've been running your mouth for quite some time now. I have no idea! I don't want to get violent, but if I do, I have no idea what might happen. I'm gonna do it! Oh shit. What? A fight? Do I need to beat the crap out of that black and white bear? Let's go. Who would dare try to kill? I'll put a stop to it, with force if necessary. Why you? If you keep saying stupid stuff, the athletes in our group are gonna lose their patience. Fine, fine. Ah, is that so? Well, I guess I expected this reaction. <clears throat> if you guys want to do things by force, then I'll have to fight back with a little force of my own. Hey! Force? What are you gonna do? Surge. Oh, gods who dwell between light and darkness, in accordance with our contract, I summon thee now. Come forth, mana beasts! What? What the fuck? Uh, what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I've seen a lot of strange and surprising shit since I first arrived at this island. But still, the phenomenon taking place right in front of me was blatantly out of this world. Huh? Huh? It, it's okay, Sonya. I have poison in my loins. And I'm gonna need you to suck it out with your mouth. What? what? Hey, I'm Bud. Yes. What? Why did the statues move? Wrong. No, that's no statue. They're mana beasts. Ah! M -m 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 monster. Hey. No, I just said they're mana beasts. The strange thing about genuine surprise is that when it happens, your voice won't let you express it. I was forced to accept that. The sudden appearance of a monster might be normal in anime and video games, and that's precisely why I couldn't grasp the reality of the situation. I couldn't even feel fear. All I could do was stand aghast. No! This can't be! This is just too weird! Don't tell me! Am I... Having a fucking nightmare or something? I'm Tomadeus. <laughs> a nightmare, he says. He just admitted his brain is a total flower patch. Unbelievable. Jeez, you guys sure are a skeptical bunch. If someone doesn't fit within your narrow notions of common sense, you just deny it outright. How stupid. Ignorant cavemen are better than you all. I don't like this. Classifying events according to their genre is a disease of the modern age. Everyone! Please stay back. Uh, I will protect everyone. I can't lose! Even at the cost of my own life, I will protect everyone! <laughs> huh? What's this? Ha! Ah, I know! This is nausea! Your sickly sweet sense of justice makes me want to puke! Let's go! Alrighty it's then! It's punishment time! It's decided! You'll be my example to everyone! Oh shit. Uh, okay. Oh, come on! <laughs> Jesus! Oh. oh my god, the wet face. 
What? What? What is that? Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It's only the first stage, and Minomi is already dead. What? Is that a demon? Or perhaps it's a weapon from the future? <laughs> Mana beasts are dreadful weapons of destruction. Is it worth watching the VOD? Uh, I would say so, Tina, just so, so you get to know the characters. <clears throat> the sudden appearance of a monster. Even though a life-threatening monster appeared, not a single one of us tried to run away. It's not that we didn't realize it was a monster. We were just vastly out of our element. We had never experienced anything like this before, and had no idea how to deal with it. The reality was very lethal and at this particular moment. <sighs> That's right, this is what I wanted. This feeling of despair! Giving an example was totally the right call. <laughs> Unlike the exuberantly laughing Monokuma, we were completely frozen, as though we'd forgotten to breathe. We just stood there, horrified. We were powerless, no different than ants washed away in a storm. Well now, now then, I believe I've made my point. Just so we're clear, you guys can't defy me. If you don't want to end up as fish food, you better not disobey me! Just so you know, I don't feel mercy or sympathy. Cause I'm a bear after all! An excuse like, I got high off this tropical atmosphere. <laughs> work on me at all! <laughs> okay. Damn. Hmm. Also, in addition to the killing school trip, I've already updated the e-handbook. There, the rules for the killing school trip are written, so you better read them thoroughly. <laughs> Ignorance of the rules is no excuse either. Well, that's also the true that's also true of any society, really. Now then, <laughs> enjoy the remainder of this liberating and harsh school trip. After he said his piece, Monokuma and his mana beasts vanished before our eyes. In truth, I was horribly tired. Everything was just so unreasonable. I didn't even care if this was the aftermath. Everyone else looked the same. We all had this tired expression on our pale faces. That's... what. What just happened? Um... I won't believe. I won't believe. <laughs> uh, it'd be one thing if we were all against a human or even an animal. <laughs> what the hell can we do against a monster like that? What's going on? It, it's impossible. Why is something impossible happening? It's certainly possible. Well, it's not really impossible. Those mana beasts or whatever they're called are machines. Those mana kumala must also be the same. As long as they're machines, it will still... Then... Who could be responsible? Why were we put in this unexplainable situation? Answer me! Answer me, I'm Bud. Who is it? Who? Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it could be anyone. It's not like I believe it anyway. There's no way I'd believe something like that. Anyway. More importantly, are uh, you guys hungry? Let's stop thinking about this and just eat. Oh. You can eat first. Listen. No matter how confused or upset you are, I don't mind. 
whoever remembers. <laughs> I don't know who in the world is orchestrating this, but we don't need to be cautious of those machines. I mean, right, whoever's controlling them. More, more than anything, we want to be cautious of ourselves. Oh, yeah? Being brought to a tropical island with complete strangers in order to kill each other to escape. That creates fear in our minds, and the desire to escape that hopeless fear is our worst enemy. Why the fuck is he here? Why is his character here? <laughs> we looked around at each other's faces. It was obvious from looking at their expressions. Everyone was forced to admit the truth of what he just said. We had to be honest with ourselves and admit that we also had that potential. Only a student who kills a classmate can escape this island. Which means in order to escape this hopeless situation, we must sacrifice a person. However, there's a possibility that a killing may never occur, but... Even I'm no different. So, uh, can I truly... Can I be truly confident that something like that isn't gonna happen? No, there's no way I can know for sure. In this nightmare of a situation, I don't have the confidence to say that outright. Once you're suspicious of something, you'll start to be suspicious of everything. Even of yourself. That's why I felt so hopeless. That day became a day like unlike any other. A day which held a more significant meaning. It was a special day. A very meaningful day full of despair. That was the beginning. The killing school trip had begun, and this tropical island was the stage. Alright. What up, what up, Sonia? some uh, poison in my tenderloins. I'm gonna need you to suck it out with your mouth. Alright, what time is it? I'm I'm not gonna, like, play super long in any day, just so it's, uh, <clears throat> maybe on the weekends I'll play a little bit longer, but I'll keep it pretty short so it's easy to catch up. Rule number five, once a murder takes place, a class trial will begin shortly thereafter. Participation is mandatory for all surviving students. If the blackened is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. If the blackened is not exposed, the remaining students will be executed. As a reward, the surviving blackened will be forgiven of their crime and allowed to leave the island. The body discovery announcement will play as soon as three or more people discover a body for the first time. Destroying any property on this island without permission is expressly prohibited. Is expressly prohibited. 
This includes surveillance cameras and monitors. You are free to investigate this island at your own discretions. Your action in this regard are not limited. Additional school trip rules may be added at the headmaster's discretion. <clears throat> As I raised my head from the E handbook with a heavy sigh, I saw the dark courtyard of the hotel. I sat on the bench, paralyzed with thought. Is he really going to make us do this? There was no way I could believe that this was now my reality. Even so, this was undeniably real. They're the same rules as the last game, Sanjeva. No matter how much I didn't want to believe it, the moment I experienced and felt it for myself, it became undeniably real. This is a reality that could not be more different from my usual daily life. School, studying, exams, job hunting, going for walks, going to school, riding the train, lectures, that kind of daily life is no longer mine. As I looked up, I saw stars glimmering into the night, covering the sky like a sheet. They looked as if they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. For the first time since I arrived at this island, instead of the night sky I'd grown accustomed to, I saw a night sky that was far too beautiful. As I stared blankly into, the, into that night sky, I suddenly imagined those words in my mind. The student who murders their classmate will be able to leave this island. I think we're going to be the ones doing the killing this time. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. <clears throat> when we were forced to hear those words, we just stood there silently. Nobody said a word. And eventually, everyone scattered and vanished. And it led straight to the—it it led straight onto the first night, the night so beautiful and ch it enchanted me. And yet, my heart was horribly upset. That kind of beauty was definitely far different than my usual daily life. Optimus Prime is not on our side this time. confusing. If you're out at night and accidentally meet a killer, then it sucks to be you. But if you're worried about that and can't sleep, I've prepared a cottage on the hotel grounds for each of you. Every single one of you, please feel free to rest in your own rooms. However, before you go to bed, I strongly recommend you lock your doors. You never know who might be planning to kill you! Mm. <laughs> bye bye Damn. That's ominous. The uh, cottage, huh? Oh, shit. Alright, uh... I don't know, should I, like, explore? Oh, god, I hate controlling this with a controller. How do I bring up them? Oh, okay. Uh, who am I? Which which one is my icon? Uh, oh, it's probably this one. Damn it! As soon as I entered the cottage, I collapsed onto the bed. What the hell? As I screamed silent, as I screamed silently to myself, I buried my head in my arms. I didn't want to see anyone anymore. I just wanted to be alone forever. I have nobody I can trust, because even if I wanted to trust them, I don't know anything about them yet. 
The only person I can trust is myself. No, even I don't believe that. In truth, after I was forced to hear that dumb rule, you can't leave unless you kill someone, I realized there's a part of me that really wants to get off this island. And at that moment, I let out a scream. <laughs> the scream erupted from my mouth. It rushed from my mouth like water from a collapsed dam. Why me? Why do I have to go through with this? <laughs> I began to lose my voice, and it faded entirely not long after. What followed was silence. No, not complete silence. I heard the faint sound of crashing waves in the distance, as if the waves were murmuring into my ears. This is no longer the world you knew. And once again, I buried my head in my arms. Why am I here? What am I, what am I doing here? <gasps> I forced my eyes shut. I wasn't tired or anything, but I just wanted to sleep. If only for a short while. I wanted to put an end to it all. And if, by chance, I managed to wake up the next day, it would be awesome if I was back to my normal life, you know what I mean? With these meager expectations, I fell into a light sleep. Oh man, these are fucking stupid. Ahem! Danganronpa 2! To those of you who purchased Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair, thank you very much! To those of you who are borrowing Danganronpa 2 Goodbye from a friend, you always risk losing friends when you borrow their things, so you should buy your own copy just to be safe. Now then, it's been a while since the main story started, so I'll give the keynote address right now. From now on, I promise you'll be charmed by this world. It genuinely deserves to be called a true game. So, make sure you get excited and immerse yourself in the heart-throbbing action to your heart's content. Now then, until the very end, please enjoy this game to the fullest. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Mm. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. Okay, Daddy. So, it definitely wasn't a dream after all. I was forced to acknowledge that yet again, which put me in a bad mood from the get-go. I guess for now, I should go outside. Oh my no, god, no, you no. fucker! Fuck you! Fuck! You're not allowed to go out. M M M Monokuma, why are you here? No way! Hey now, don't be so worried. I'm here for fun reasons. Fun reasons? Hey, um... I want you to find my stuffed animals. I got ahead of myself and made too many. But I thought it'd be a waste to just throw them away, so I've hidden them all over the island. If you please. They're scattered all over various areas, so you just go right ahead and look for them all. Wh Why do I have to do something like that? Too bad. Because I said so. You can't say no. I've already hidden one in this room, and I won't let you out until you find it. Well... Good luck! You piece of shit. Damn it. That selfish stuffed animal. I already saw it. Huh? I've been found? Damn, this crib got stairs. Well... Done. Good job! I also left you some mana coins. I'm so generous. Isn't that wonderful? These coins can be exchanged for fabulous items at the beach and at the Rocket Punch Market. 
I've also hidden the stuffed animals in other places too. So do your best and look for them. <laughs> if you find them all, surprise, surprise. Uh, excuse me. Wh what? Never mind. I should just go. <laughs> what the fuck? Huh? Oh, it's just you. Don't scare me like that. I I could say the same to you. Hey. But but by the way, uh, did you see them? Damn it. Oh man, not good. What the hell are they? Definitely not good. What? What are you talking about? Uh, the bridge, you know. Remember that bridge at the Central Island? Did something happen to it? <laughs> no shit! Why the hell else would I be here? This is bad. That those monsters are in front of the bridges. They're, they're blocking them off. Wrong. They're not monsters. They're mana beasts. <laughs> <laughs> so cool! Is there a spreadsheet for this game too? I'm pretty sure there is. The Mana Beasts are guardians of the Jabberwock Island. They're making sure you guys don't think about ignoring the progression by going to the other islands. If those monsters are gatekeepers, it's better if I don't get close to them. Damn it! Ugh, so annoying! I can't stand this anymore. Hey, get get a grip. Your face is getting weird. Aw, oh, man. I can't. There's no way I can get a grip. We're going to get eaten by monsters. There's no way I can enjoy vacationing here now. Hey. Ahia. Uh, uh, what is all that noise? Ah! God, why is this guy a little bitch, huh? Uh, Peko Peko Yama. And I came all this way to hear both of you, but if you're going to call me a monster... Ugh, you're here to get us? Well, obviously. I was told to come get you because we kept waiting and you two never showed up. Everyone is waiting at the hotel restaurant. Hurry up and join us. Everyone's waiting at the restaurant? Damn it! Ugh, whatever, man. I... I I don't care. I, I don't care at all. Ah! Ah, I'm out of here. Uh, hey, fuck, where are you going? That's what I tried to say, but Kazuichi sprinted away like lightning. I guess I'll head over to the restaurant. You guys remember when we, we met Bud here for the first time? His eyes look like eggs. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Oh, God. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do his voice anymore. <clears throat> like my th Sorry to lose it. Raymond, where's Kaiser's? I found it warm together. He ran off somewhere. Huh? Where? Well, he pretty much said he was running away, but... But... We're running? But where? <laughs> There's nowhere to run anyway. What a weirdo. However... However... <gasps> after what we witnessed yesterday, his behavior is understandable. Huh? <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Did uh, something happen yesterday? I don't remember anything happening. <laughs> and even if I did, it looked totally fake anyway. Understand? Understand? <laughs> this guy's so fucking funny. Y yep, yep. Not worth remembering at all. It'd be a lot easier to deal with all this if I could just deny it outright like that. Hey. Hey, I'm Bud. Uh, why have you gathered us here? Not a two Ah, wait a sec. That means the reason you told us to come here is... Pointing! Oi! Apparently, Monsieur Bukakia has something to tell us! Really? What? I'm gonna do it! 
I'm gonna do it! Obviously, we're here to discuss our strategy for defeating that monster. It's impossible! It, it, there's no way we can fight that thing. I mean, it has heavy weapons and shit. Show I mean, some spirit! Anything is possible with a fighting spirit! <laughs> Let me tell you this. A bold boast. However, let me give you some advice. That was close. The truly strong do not raise their voice so recklessly. Hey, hey! Hey, hey, let's start talking already. <laughs> this is probably some lame attempt to make us feel better or something. Don't make me repeat myself. But everyone is similar. Better to start talking. Jeez. I'm Bud. Fine, I'll just bring Kazuichi myself then. Everyone wait here, I'll find him and bring him here, even if I have to tie him up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a little jealous right now. Getting tied up by Miss Mahiru? <laughs> Maybe I should run away too. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's fucking hilarious. Disgusting moron. That's fine. Brother, let's have breakfast while we wait for everyone. Let's eat. Let's eat. The moment he said that, we started wolfing down the pile of food in front of him. Um, where did that food come from anyway? <laughs> <laughs> when I arrived this morning, it was already here. <laughs> ah, they even have crab and shrimp. Aww. Crab and shrimp are like such a pain to eat. I hate them as much as I hate Mikan's ugly stuttering face. <laughs> my, my ugly st stuttering face. Gross. Gross. That's it. That face right there. Why? Why are you being so mean? <laughs> <laughs> this little girl's all funny. <laughs> You're the kind of girl that bullies just love to torment, aren't you? Honestly. Uh, you should have stopped now. Oh! Uh, I got it. Ter Teru prepared this food, right? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't me. Huh? You see, the food I make doesn't taste as shitty as this does. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Just gobbling it up, huh? This is the best. No, 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 no. Just yummy, right? Compared to the world class dishes I make, <laughs> a dish that yummy would still be considered shit. Nonsense! In fact, <laughs> even comparing them is out of the question. Comparing my dishes to the lowly peasant food, how rude! Hey, don't take it personally. Understand. I'm just saying, if you guys ate my food, <laughs> you wouldn't be able to control yourself. What? Uh, what the, does that mean? Well done. <laughs> well, let's just say your jaw wouldn't be able to be the only thing that drops. There's no mistaking it. In fact, <laughs> your panties would drop too. <laughs> like the black thong Miss Pekka was wearing, for example. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you creep! Oh, how do you know about that? He... He guessed correctly? However... What a, what a champion. If Teru Teru doesn't prepare this food, then the one who did is... <laughs> Could it have been Monokuma? Is it safe to eat food cooked by something like that? Don't worry. That's why I'm tasting it for poison. <sighs> to make sure it's safe to consumption. But you don't need to eat that much to check for poison. Hey. Okay, thanks for waiting. I brought him. I'm also Bud. You are a boy, right? Hey, uh, sh straight up a little more. Shouldn't a man like you be embarrassed to walk like that? Oh man. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> don't pull. You're gonna rip my sleeves. Even though you look all flashy, you're actually a big coward! Be careful! Are you gonna be okay? People like you are usually the first victim, you know? <laughs> I just wanna go home already! Ah! 
What the? Oh my good lord. <laughs> Come on, what is this? <laughs> Come on. Uh, yeah, I kind of have to pee. Uh, I'll leave it at the screen for a second. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Just give me a minute. your arm, bud. <laughs> uh, too lewd for me. Wait a minute, I just realized her. she's like all tied up. What the fuck? Can you even call that tripping? How in the world did you end up in such a compromising position after tripping? <laughs> well, it certainly makes me happy. I'm very happy right now. <laughs> oh my god, that, that's fucking chef, man. adorable when she's embarrassed. <laughs> it's so low. I'm so happy right now. I'm so joy. happy. We should help her up. <laughs> oh my god, this chef is fucking hilarious. Are you okay? <laughs> my head is throbbing a little, but I'm okay. Your head is definitely not okay. Hey. Hey, I'm Bud. Uh, she's beyond just a clumsy girl. That fall of hers was like a magic trick or something. Um... Anyway, everyone here's... everyone's here now, right? Then let's get going. Since I'm getting sleepy. Hmm. You're right. Though I'm not ready to stop eating breakfast, I should begin my talk. So it's finally starting. That took way too long. Listen. First, I have a question for all of you. That Monokuma thing wanted us to kill each other. So under these strange circumstances, what do you think we need right now? Who the fuck knows? I'm Tomadeus. Get to the fucking point already. Don't make me repeat myself. If you want me to get to the point, you better hurry up and answer my question. Huh? Huh? What do we need? We need food and sleep, obviously, right? No! No! You've forgotten about shitting! <laughs> Paying attention! Which means the answers are a good appetite, a good night's sleep, and a good shit! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> the guy's my fucking hero. Uh, yes. A good appetite, and a good shit. Does anybody have a real answer? Perhaps... Could it be a bond? Bond? I... This is what I believe. As long as the Ultimates work together, there's nothing we can't accomplish. It's obvious. You'll all be able to create hope that can overcome any despair. That's why, if we want to escape this island, we need to promise each other that we'll work together. 
Gross. Gross. <laughs> he said that with a straight face. How was he not embarrassed? <laughs> Uh, just as I figured, that was kind of lame, huh? However... Uh, however, he does have a point. That must be why uh, Monokuma is enforcing a rule that will cause us to be suspicious of each other? I see. That was a pretty good answer. Since I've been... Since it's impossible to face our enemy as in the middle of... Under these circumstances, we must fly to the group. However, we need to achieve that solidarity is not something that easygoing and optimistic as a bond. Huh? Then what? Listen. What we need right now is a disciplined leadership. Provided by um, an unmistakable leader. I see. Even sports teams need captains after all. Rejoice. I shall accept the position. Huh? Hmm. Now then, there's a rep of my introduction. Let's move on to the main question. Hey! Hey, I'm Bud. Wait just a second. What? What is it? Jeez! What, what did you just say? I don't care how you excuse it. You're being too forceful. Deciding to be the leader all on your own, and why does it have to be you anyway? Not possible. Who is more fit to be a leader than me? I'm the ultimate masculine property of the Tagami household. Just at the stand up of all others. What are you saying? So seriously, I'm Bud, Senin. I'm telling you that attitude of yours is too forceful. Wait! Mahiru, please wait. It's true that Bukakia may be a little forceful, but given our current situation, I believe it's a leader's duty under circumstances like this to be forceful to a certain degree. But... That may be true, but I'm Bud. But if we just need someone who can lead people, then even Sonya can. No. Ugh, Sonya. I mean, no, Parrish thought I am merely a figurehead. Hey. Well, he must have qualities of a leader if he can accept the role under these circumstances. Hmm. If everyone's okay with it, I'm still Bud, but I'm okay with it too, I guess. It's all clear now. Then I guess we made our decision. Don't worry, as long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide you all. That much, I can promise. <laughs> so reliable. It's true, he's reliable, but I'm a little surprised. I didn't think he was the type of guy who'd say something like that. I'd expect the ultimate affluent progeny to look down on us like we're bugs or something. Hmm. Now then, let's move on to the topic at hand. For real this time, I have something to show you all. Something to show us? Follow me. Mr. Double. Wow, you can hear his fucking footsteps. <laughs> After saying it so bluntly, Bukaki had turned and left the restaurant, stomping his feet along the way. J just as I thought. He sure is forceful. Aww. Aww, jeez. We may have a made a mistake in choosing him as the leader. Though everyone made similar complaints, they all followed Bukaki out of the restaurant. Oh, I get to run. I have to run there, though. Is there like a is there one of those like bear figures in here? Do you guys see one? God damn. <laughs> you don't have to pay attention to me. Just go, I'll catch up with you soon. You don't seem so persuasive when you you have that look on your face. I can't help it, I'm, but I'm hungry. I lose most of my energy. So... After she said that, Akani ate the entire pile of food on her plate in one gulp. <laughs> that was good. You ate so fast, I doubt you even tasted it. Ugh. W what happened? Are you choking? Crap, now that I've eaten a little, 
I'm even hungrier. Wow. So annoying. Jeez. Bukaki better finish his talk fast, because once he's done, I'm going to eat as much as I can. I guess I should go for now. Let's go, Jumpy, Magazi, Sandy, Champy! My four dark divas of destruction let us venture to the end of the earth. Ja 